Greetings everyone, my name is Etterville, and welcome back to my Let's Play of Blue Rider. During the last part, I completed Stage 6, The Mystical or Crystal Forest, and Stage 7, The Ice Realm. Stage 6's tower boss was pretty nice, but actually much easier than Stage 5's octopus boss. And Stage 7 had a lot of lag issues near the second half, necessitating me to re-record at least three quarters of the stage. But it was fun, but those bunkers were devastating. So now we're moving on to the endgame stages. There are only two left. From the looks of it, this is the volcano stage, and probably Stage 9 from the silhouette or the shadows is going to be a mechanical stage. Fitting, really. We kind of went from grasslands to a desert, to another desert, to a rainy desert, to tropical, to a mystical forest, to ice. My only, my only complaint on the level progression would be that we have too many desert stages. Sure, this is the in-between the desert from the plains to here, but I would have liked a, another stage team or something. Uh, we have the grasslands, the tropical, the forest, the ice, the mechanical, the volcano. Maybe something other than the desert, at least one stage would be nice, like maybe something over here. I don't know. The, maybe a more emphasis on a, the rain and the rainy stage of the desert, maybe floods, but I like it anyway, regardless. But with that all, all out of the way, let's go to stage 8, the, the volcano stage. And hope that the stuttering issue doesn't become too severe or whatever. I don't know, it seems to randomly appear. Okay, we're over here, and as always, because I started, I, I start out with the red weapon. Although against the train bosses, the previous stage, the blue weapon was much better. Ooh, and suddenly, we have a lot more desolation. I mean, look at the environment. We had snow, and now we have a crater. You know what that means, of course. Yep, we're entering the volcano. Figures that would happen. Hopefully we don't lag out everywhere. I do like the transition, although I would have expected some enemies. So, I suppose it's the villain's lair. And here's the welcoming committee. Of all these hovercrafts. Oh boy. Seeing some of these missiles is going to be a problem with these volcanoes. With the lava. Do we take lava damage? Let me see. Oh yeah, yep, yep, yep. yep. We do take lava damage. So make sure to stay within the on these rock platforms. Oh, yeah, even in that minor terrain. Be very careful then. But yeah, lots of red here. Oh, 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 wait a minute. Wait, what? Oh, no, don't tell me the... Oh, shoot. These will sink if I, if I stay on them for too long. I need to rush this. I need to keep moving then. Oh no. This is going to make the stage a lot harder now. Now it for, it's forcing me to keep moving. Because before, otherwise these will all sink. Uh, you can see what's happening. Oh. Oh no. I'm not really liking this gimmick. <laughs> Well, at least it forces you to stop turtling, but still, it'll mean that dodging everything is going to become a much more of a nightmare. It's probably going to have to skip past a lot of these enemies, and uh, sorry if I'm not really paying much attention to the. To, I'm not going to be paying that much attention to what I'm saying because of all the craziness ha that's happening on screen right now. I really don't want to face a lot a uh, heat-based stat. Wait. What do these do? Nope. Ow, 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 ow. Yeah, sorry if my commentary is starting to get a little bit incoherent. Okay. Uh, this is not the place to go, of course. Uh, okay, rush it. Oh boy, I'm going to... I'm probably going to have to replay this stage. I've now just instantaneously got lost of where I was supposed to be going. I was not definitely not expecting that. Oops, this is right back where I started. Wonderful. Just wonderful. Okay, I'm just gonna ram through this. This is so gonna be, be a problem in the future. 
I would really like a health pickup then. Uh, there? Nah, I'm gonna end this. Sorry. Yeah, I didn't expect this. I knew there was going to be lava, but I didn't expect the rocks below me to collapse. Okay, so the game is definitely stepping it up. This is going to be a huge difficulty spike. I'm probably going to be skipping past the enemies. Many of the enemies. At least the enemies are kind of weak. No wonder they're hovercraft. They're of the hovercraft variety. Oh boy. This part, entire part, is probably going to be dedicated to it. If it's this hard already, I'm worried about the saucer or, or flight-based boss that we're going to be fighting at the end. Yeah, I looked at the achievements. The boss's name is called Flyer. Okay, here we go. Oh, ow, ow. Ow. Yeah, I'm gonna restart. This is... That was bad. I should let them come to me before I, I actually face them. But yeah, this really caught me off guard. I know I've played lava stages before, but usually you're supposed to stay on the rocks, and the rocks that fall are differently colored. But no, everything falls, apparently. So let's guide the enemies in and destroy them, and then move forward. And try finding some loose terrain. Oh, finding the relics and other hidden treasures are going to be a nightmare. Or even power-ups. Yeah, I looked at the achievements as well. Apparently I've been missing I missed all of the hidden treasures, wherever there are. So there's another layer of secrets other than the relics. Can I take a side route? Nope. They were clever enough to for to for to avoid that. Oh whoa. Ow, ow, whoa, whoa, whoa. Missile launchers are are scary. Oh, come on. I got caught in the fence, of course. Come on, is there a place over here? Oh, there's a relic. Keep going. I that was a that was a really bad start. Missiles, of course. Um I'm not sure where any place of where I'm going is going to be safe. Like I said, I'm going to just uh, probably just skip past everything. Oh, power. Power. I'm probably going to take primary weapon power ups right now and deal with this one now. Now I'm in the actual terrain that never collapses. Yeah, that purple boomerang or whatever it's called. Okay, let's continue our journey into this crazy world. Oh, I need missiles. Oh no. And ramming into the enemies is not recommended either. Oh no no no, I'm, I'm not going to deal with you. Not in this terrain. Oh, okay. I made it to solid ground. Oh, we're right at the boss. Okay, there's a giant saucer. But I was expecting more stage, but apparently not. Oh, I can... Nope, I can't back out. Okay, I was expecting more of the stage to be to be there, and this was a midway point. But no, the stage is shorter. To be fair, it makes up with it. With a, it makes up for its uh, much higher difficulty. So first, we need to destroy these um, circular those cores on the side. I think it might have been a be better idea to switch to the blue weapon. Oh, okay, so I think when I destroy all of the cores on the first layer, it'll go... It'll drop down to the second layer or something. Oh, good. Okay, yeah, that was right. It opened up its its outer layer. Oh, no, it's... Ow. I didn't... Okay, it's... When it did that, now it's going to be firing from behind, too. Well, at least I am zoomed out, so... That should make it a little bit... A little bit easier. Okay, there should be a few more on the other side. Yeah, there it is. And I really don't want to bump into those outside ones. That's probably going to be instant debt.
And I haven't dealt any damage to the boss's health bar. It's probably the core, of course. And it's alternating between moving counterclockwise and clockwise. Okay, that one's down. Oh, okay. Oh no, now we have to... Don't tell me we need to fight all these layers together. Okay, this is the last one, I think. Come on. Okay, here's the crazy bullet spread. It's open, though. Is it actually hitting the target, though? I guess it is. I don't have any continues, though, so I better really be on my guard. At least the outsides aren't doing any more damage. Hopefully this saucer or flyer doesn't pull out any nasty tricks other than... If it keeps doing this bullet spread, I'm fine. Oh, come on. Yes, it's dead. Boss H has been destroyed. Oh, a lot easier than I anticipated it to be. I was expecting something else crazy to happen. That's that. Stage 8 is done. Ugh, I'm not sure what to say about this. I, I know the stage was actually quite forcing you to disincentivizing you to turtle because of the collapsing terrain. But I didn't expect this stage to be this short. Well, then again, I may have actually skipped most of the bonuses. That's why I have 10, a level 10 primary weapon compared to the level 11 primary weapon, which I ended the last part on. So yeah, I probably skipped over a lot of secrets and stuff, like I only got one relic and I killed only 50% of the enemies. Mainly because I didn't have much time. I mean, when I saw that giant mech, I decided, ugh, I'm not going to deal with this, especially with all the collapsing terrain. Well, this is definitely the speedrunner stage, and you can see how much you can skip past, especially if you decide to uh, fly over the lava. But there are a lot of secrets that, that I didn't really get to, and probably missed two or three power-ups as well. But at least the shorter stage length, at least when you take the optimal route, balances out the increased difficulty. Okay, we're now moving on to the final stage. Oh yeah, and five I only took five minutes on this stage, one of the shortest. But yet, yeah, now we're moving on to stage number 9, the final stage of this game. I don't know exactly what to expect, but if if this stage's difficulty spike was anything to be... is any indicator, oh boy. The boss was much easier than I anticipated. It was really just a bullet spread. Oh boy. We're taking place right in the volcano. Well, we ended up last in the volcano. Are there any secrets, so... Uh, are there any secrets over there? Uh, I see something. Nope, you lied to me. Uh, sorry about that. Oh boy, here we go in the volcano. So again, rush. Oh, rep repulsion. So yeah, we have the... Oh boy, I'm, I'm not gonna deal with you. Okay, here's the here's the final boss's fortress. It's a mechanical. Well, it's instantly got easier. I I wasted a lot of my health, uh, quite a, a noticeable amount of my health, because I thought there would be a secret there. But here we are in the final fortress. Where are you coming, cheaters? They're they're phasing right through the wall. You're not supposed to be able to get through the wall. That's cheating. Ow. Well, okay, now we have cheaters. We have robots who are not obeying by the rules, the laws of the game. Ow. Would like more help to regain, of course. Is that still alive? Ow. I really need to stop running into these. But yeah, this is the final base. The villains and mechanical base, where I guess all, all those crystals are being harvested for as a fuel source. I still would like it something more of an excuse spot to understand why I'm going through all these stages blowing up stuff. I mean, some classic games, even though they had rather cliche stories or uh, grown worthy stories, they at least had some reasoning behind what was going on. Here it's just we're going into these valleys and regions and 
destroying all of the enemy mechs, riders, and whatever else. And robots. And this is one of the stages where I think I would li like a map. I'm kind of getting lost to figure out where everything is. But this stage isn't too bad uh, for, for the starts. We had a transition from the lava, but there was nothing too bad in terms of enemy composition yet. Well, most of those bombs got wasted, unfortunately. And the only weakness between these mechs, of course, their very slow turning rate. Oh, I'm so going to, going to be really confused where I'm going to here. I think there are several power-ups I'm missing but that are going to be located somewhere. Nope, this is a dead end. Okay, good, good. I was worried that this would actually lead into somewhere else. Okay, let's continue on here. No lag issues out of the world as of yet. You know, for final stage, I was expecting something a little bit more challenging. Then again, this may pop up in the final boss fight rather than the stage. Or, well, it may be because I am too powerful. Or it may pop up in the second half. I shouldn't be too quick to judge, is what I'm saying. Oh, Relic. Okay, Rampage up. This leads over here. Oh, whoa, whoa. A lot of these here. I'm not going to waste my missiles because I'm, I'm kind of sure that I'll need it for the final boss. I won't be at max power though, so that's kind of sad. I'm gonna backtrack a little bit to see what's going on back there. Once I destroy all these mechs, of course. Ow. Oh, there's a there's a gate over there. Sure, let's see what's uh, in here. Oh, enemy spawners. So I guess this is the oh, this is the survival room then. So we have a horde of enemies that we must destroy. Okay, these are mostly easy enemies. If it was something like those giant mechs, then it would be a large problem. Oh wait, okay, there you are. Oh, you snuck in. Once again, not too much of a problem. Whoa. Good, I'll need that extra continue. Okay, good. Okay, this is open. Wonderful. Uh, I just went through here. Okay, let's go here then. Wait a minute. Nope, no secret there. I, I probably need to see a guide to figure out where all the hidden treasures, as I completely missed it, even in stage one. And I and that stage seems quite easy. Oh boy. Don't tell me that. Is this leading up to the final boss? It seems to be because this is just a long hallway. Well, I guess I guess this is it. It's time to finish up Blue Rider.